What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Movie Bunker, where physical media is alive and well. I am 4K Outlaw, and a lot of people on here and a lot of people on TikTok have asked for a more extensive, like, room tour of the Movie Bunker here. We're at it right now, and I thought this would be a better video for TikTok. I'm sorry, this would be a better video for YouTube because I can kind of go over more and show you guys a little bit more than I can because I'm not restricted by the time restraints of TikTok. Movie Bunker is essentially just a hallway uh, in the basement of the house I'm in, and I have all my movies here. Uh, we'll get into that in a minute. But guys, if you guys like this video, make sure you leave the video a like, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when all my videos go live. I'm also going to go and show you guys uh, my movies, my TV setup. I'm gonna show you guys my players that I use. I'm gonna show you all that stuff. This is gonna be the one and only time I do this, so I hope you guys enjoy it. So this is what you see when I'm doing a video, and this is my horror section. I get a lot of questions about my lights, and I have covered I have covered this on TikTok. I've never I've never covered it here on YouTube. These are just battery powered LED strips that I have custom, you know, cut to fit this. Uh, these shelves I've made also, this is two by fours and one by twos. I wish it looked better. Uh, it doesn't, the zip ties hold these in place. Uh, but yeah, I get asked about this a lot. So to kind of give you guys a quick glance, all of this right here is all of my horror movies. It goes all the way down, uh, ignore the shorts. Those are just Blu-rays um, that I have in my collection. This is what you guys don't see in the videos. This is my 4K collection. These are all non-horror 4Ks. I have the genre split. Um, and I have a little wonkier. Everything is alphabetical, but as you can see here, um, like down here is my TV shows. But right here are my, uh, some box sets right here. Um, and then right here, I have my Marvel movies. Now these are all 4K, but I have them separate because in my live streams, these get asked for all the time, and it's just easier. You'll see that I have a couple of random Blu-rays over here, like Mars Attacks, Troy, Tenacious D. Uh, over here, I have like No Country for Old Men. These are movies that get asked for all the time, and it's just easier for me to put them on the top um, than it is for me to put them where they actually go. Now, what I mean by that is, is when I go live on TikTok, we do a, a style over there where people ask for a movie and we show it to them. I show it to them. So if somebody comes and they say, hey, I want to see Kindergarten Cop in 4K, I pull it off the shelf, we talk, I show it to them, and it gets kind of hectic. We can have anywhere from 50 people to, you know, we've had upwards of almost 2,000 people before. So uh, that is why I have the collection very tightly. It's hard. It's not a very big in here. I'm touching both walls right now. This is my my 4K wall and this is my horror wall. So I'm able to I'm able to move around here uh, fairly easily. And it covers a big portion of what I'm able to grab. So I'm able to grab a bunch of stuff. So this is some more stuff that you can't really see. This is just Toonie Tears. I have some autographs. There is my tripod. Uh, it, you know, I wish it was more professional, but there it is. I have another tripod down there for whenever I do the, the live cast with Doc. I got some more autographs. Here is kind of like become my staging area. This is where I put all my new releases. There is my two long box set that I got. Um, I have a Friday the 13th part eight bus down there. There is my pumpkin. When anybody sent, if anybody ever sends me anything, I put it in there and there's all my tax stuff. Uh, but yeah, that's something that I never really show. So here we are out in the, where I watch my movies. This is my Sony A80J OLED 65 inch TV. Um, this is my baby. I absolutely love this thing. It is always a treat to get a new uh, 4K in that I can watch. Down here is my Panasonic UB820 4K player. Now, it was kind of pricey, but it was very well worth it. I will uh, open it up for you guys. It is a very nice piece of equipment. Uh, well worth the price. I use this daily. Now, I have a PS5, but I can tell you I've never put a single... 4k in there i don't even know if it works to be honest with you and then over here i have my region free uh player that i use for all my region b titles and stuff like that my wife has been very generous she has kind of let me take over the downstairs so i, I was able to put my ninja turtles arcade uh down here 
it's just sitting, you know, beautifully in the living room. So uh, I was very happy that she let me put that down here. One of my favorite things I have down here are my couches. Now, ignore Boris chewing on my blanket. These couches are perfect for movies. I have two. Uh, they they recline and, um, well, he's not going to let me show you. Boris, can I come over here for a second, buddy? This part actually uh, comes down and it has cup holders, drink holders, and all that stuff. And then again, I have my scents. Like I've said before, uh, scents go a long way um, for a movie. So if I'm watching a Halloween film, I always like to throw in a pumpkin flavored scent of some sort. And then over here are my babies. These are my Godzilla premier figures. Uh, some of these cost more than my first car. I have my X Plus 1992 Godzilla from Godzilla vs. Mothra. And then of course back there I have the Godzilla Criterion Collection. I have this uh, Godzilla 91 uh, from Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah that was sent to me from a friend off of uh, my Amazon wish list. actually he just sent me this out of nowhere. And uh, that's my favorite version of Godzilla. Uh, my second favorite version of Godzilla is the 1974 Godzilla from Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla. And I ordered this. This bad boy is very rare. If something was to ever happen, he would be going with me for sure. And um, I, I actually kept the boxes, like I said. And I have the new walking Godzilla that blows the smoke too. But um, yeah, it's um, these are my babies. So I'm, I like seeing these every day. And then over here are some of my autographs and my LED signs. I have the new uh, Slimer popcorn bucket. Now, I was kind of against this idea, the popcorn machine. My wife bought this. And somebody from TikTok, who was it? Mossy. Mossy actually sent her the recipe to make theater-style popcorn, and it ended up being one of the best decisions we've ever made. Um, I'm not a big popcorn guy, but it is nice when she makes it because it makes you feel like you're back at the movies. Um, over here, I have some pins from my pin collection. We have some good memories up there of good friends. Um, more Godzilla stuff. I have my autograph, Doug Bradley. Again, my... LED, or my, sorry, my neon Godzilla light. Uh, I have my autograph where I met Nick Castle. My autograph where I met James U. Courtney. And then just here recently, my good friend Paul, if you guys remember him, AKA Slasher Junkie, sent me this autographed Dick Warlock print. And then I'm not gonna go all the way up there, but I have posters that go all the way up the stairs uh, to the uh, other part of the house. So yeah, guys, there is um, the movie bunker. Guys, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. Um, thank you guys for the kind words. I hope you appreciate or I hope you guys have enjoyed me showing off my little nook area where we watch movies and have a good time. Thank you guys all so much. We just passed 600 subscribers. We'll be on the road to 1,000 here soon. That is the goal. Thank you guys for all the support and love. Like I said, if you, if you haven't hit the subscribe button, make sure you do. Let me know down below what you think. And as always, guys, until next time, farewell from the movie bunker. We'll see you at the movies.